Hi teachers, this quick video is going to walk you through how to use Active Inspire when you're in a Google Meet with students in order to share and show things. So that still is a possibility. Um, if you watch the video from Eric Kurtz on this page, um, Google also offers Google Canvas and Google Jamboard as two um, easy to use Google enabled tools. So if you don't have access to Active Inspire on your machine, um, it's not something we can add right now remotely. However, you can still feel free to use Jamboard or Canvas. Um, so right now I have myself in the Google Meet twice. I actually have in on a Chromebook and then I have myself in on um, the computer I'm recording on. So on the teacher side, what you'd want to do in Google Meet is you'd want to click present now and you'd want to present your entire screen. So I'm gonna present my entire screen. And the reason why I do this is it's going to be able to capture the background. I'm gonna turn off the Google Meet grid view so I will see the good what I'm presenting here and then I will also see um, the background of my screen. So I'm gonna so you can see that it says you're presenting to everyone. I'm going to go ahead and pull up Active Inspire. So at this point, I can pull up Active Inspire and I can go ahead and write whatever I want, or if I have an already made flip chart, I will be able to share that already made flip chart with students and manipulate things in that flip chart. Okay, and then this part of the video, what you're actually seeing is the student side of things. So if the teacher were to Go to a new page. Paint the background. Write something on the page. Students would actively see what is happening in the flip chart on their page. So you can see that the teacher, me, I'm doing on both computers. Um, I show up up here and then I have what students will see. They will see my Active Inspire screen here. So please look at all three options. There's some options with the Google side of things that allow you to share and interact with students with Google Jamboard. Um, but so many of you are probably pretty proficient with using Active Inspire. And so you can still continue to use Active Inspire to show things for Google Meets.